What does a toucan eat? This is Tukey. He's approximately a year and a half going on two. And he's picking through his buffet bowl. We will serve fresh fruit and some veggies two times a day, all organic if possible. Today, Tuki will be trying apricot for the first time. Conventionally grown produce typically contains chemicals and pesticides. We are unsure of the long-term effects that these might have on these sensitive creatures, so we're just going to choose organic at every chance that we get. Some days, Tuki can be very particular. He tends to be picky and finicky on what's on the menu. He's just like a human. He doesn't want to eat the same things every day. And that's why everything is literally a gamble. If a new item tasting doesn't go well that day, we'll just try again another time. We humans don't like waste, so we'll eat the rejects. Here, <coughs> Tuki is enjoying the white variety dragon fruit. He loves it best fresh if we can get it and if we do it can be expensive it could be hard to find and when you do find it hopefully it's the right species because he for some reason does not like the yellow one he loves the deep maroon bright pink one and the white variety only A couple months ago, we discovered that Costco actually carried organic dragon fruit in their frozen aisle. It happens to be the maroon variety, so it's a plus for a backup. The only thing is, Tuki does prefer the fresh one because it's more firm and it's sliceable. The frozen one is already in cubes, and by the time it defrosts, it gets a little mushy. And Tuki is not a fan of mushy or slimy textures. So once I defrost dragon fruit, it has some juice collected at the bottom of the container. So I save it and he loves to drink it. We humans have to be very cautious of the things that we leave out because Tuki will gladly help himself and slurp away.
One thing I can guarantee is Tukey will always accept blueberries as his preferred method of payment. As you see, he's bouncing the morsel in between the tips of his beak. I personally call this dribbling. He does this so that he can get precise aim in the toss back. Whoops. My bad. Sometimes a morsel doesn't go down the right way and the way he swallows it just doesn't sit well and sometimes it will come right back up. Sometimes 15 minutes will go by and he'll regurgitate it. He'll just dribble it again and re-snack it. I have yet to catch this on camera. I refer to his Missouri pellet as his crunchy snacks. These elongated pellets are specially made for toucans or softbills. Softbill is a non-scientific term referencing soft foods diet. Soft foods as such, fruits, vegetation, nectar, plants, insects, etc. Softbill does not include nut or seed eaters. We have a feeder like this on each floor of the house, so Tukey will help himself whenever he wants. Tukey, just like other birds, never overeat. He stops when he's satisfied. Approximately 50 to 70% of their diet can be supplemented by this pellet. It's a PhD formulated nutrition for iron sensitive birds. Toucans are susceptible to a disease called hemochromatosis. It is an iron storage disease. And unfortunately, it's the leading cause of death in toucans. Which is why it's critical to ensure we provide antioxidant enrichment for a healthy can. Thank you.